Hello guys, in this video we are going to be make gradient button in Jit Compose using Kotlin with different shapes. To make gradient button, we are creating this common gradient function. We are passing some different values like gradient color. Gradient color is nothing but combination of multiple colors. You can use comma to separate the multiple colors. Corner radius with 16 dB and button name style colon top start then round corner shape with top start with 30 db this one likewise we can change the round corner shape top in with 30 db this one so this is our gradient button with different shape in this gradient common function we just created the button with custom shape we are applying the background color to the gradient color and we are applying the shape to the round corner shape which we received from the parameter also we are applying the text to button name which we received from the parameter of name button so likewise we created this gradient button with different shapes so this one style top start and bottom end you can pause multiple parameters like this top start with 30 db bottom end with 30 db you can change if you want to change like this you can make this effect so you can uh, you can pause single value or multiple value or you can simply pause if you want to all shape with 30 db means you can simply pause 30 dot db so you can see the uh, properties of this round corner shape here and we can also disable this gradient button with this disable effect so by default this enabled is remember state so it is enabled with true value when user on click this button this value will be false then we are applying this state value to this enable so if it is false means this button cannot be clickable so you can make the disable effect also we are applying this color shapes color and shapes like here if it is true means we are applying gradient color otherwise we are applying the disable color effect which is the transparent color so finally this button is disable effect Here is our button with ripple effects. So we can disable the ripple effect using this button, gradient button with no ripple effect. Just passing indicator equal to null to when user on clickable this function, this button is no ripple effect right now. So if you want to disable the ripple effect, you can just pass the indicator equal to null. It will make you no ripple effect. So this is all about the gradient button with different shapes. Thank you guys.